the customer service awards is Linton and Matt. Well, this kind of recognition just kind of puts you up on a platform, doesn't it? It gives you that kind of exposure. It's recognition for the work that's done. So all around that exposure, that recognition is incredible. And the winner of the Innovation Award is the Hair Sanctuary Trading Group. So our innovation is we run courses for foster carers who have children from different cultural backgrounds and also courses for hairdressers for diversity and inclusion focused around Afro and textured hair. I think it's great, it just helps us to push a bit further and reach more people and people get to see um, what it is that we do and they can tap into that as well. And the winner is Tony and Guy. As we pave the way on embarking on our digital marketing journey, it's really paving the way for not just us as a business, but the industry. And so for us, it means the world that we've been honored this award. And the winner of the Salon Design Award is Stay Studios. It's quite overwhelming actually. Um, we only opened Stay Studios eight months ago. So to be recognized um, so soon into our journey um, is just, yeah, really incredible. Educator of the Year 2024 is Laura Lee Chair. Having had the, the privilege of winning the last two years, that's helped elevate and push me even further to, to grow the business and to see what other opportunities are out there so that we can build our industry for the better. Okay, so the winner of the Assistant of the Year is Isabella Pascalino. It means everything and to be honest it's just the message behind it that any young person could do anything in this career and I just want to inspire other young people to not be afraid to join this industry. Tonight's winner of independent salon business is Stay Studio. I think hopefully it will show our customers and our members um, how the industry is recognising us and just make us stand out amongst the crowd. Winner of Franchisee of the Year, Tony Kelly Hobson. I've worked with Anthony for so long now. His beliefs are so strong. He's an amazing boss, an amazing leader. He's taught me so much, continues to make me the person I am today. It's just a sense of massive achievement for all of us. Okay, and the winner is Manifesto. For us, Manifesto, winning these awards, it means a lot. And these awards go to all our team because without them, we was not allowed to achieve that. And also, this trophy is just telling us that we're going in the right direction. We just need to keep going and repeat, repeat, and repeat. You know. And the winner is Lindsay Hooker and Young. Well, this year I've adopted two little boys, and I just thought this was the year that I can do it for me and possibly my children and let them know that you can do anything in life. You've just got to work hard and go for it and you can win. The winner of the Social Stylist of the Year is Nula Mori. I've managed to reach so many women who struggle with embracing their natural textured hair and I've reached them globally. So we have a following from all over the world who come to visit us and they now embrace their natural textured hair and love it and it's given them the confidence to do what they need to do in life. The Sustainable Salon of the Year is En Route Hair and Beauty. So it's absolutely massive because we all need to be more sustainable and if we can be like champions of sustainability then and make more hairdressers sustainable then I think the world's going to be a much better place. The winner is Melissa Timpley Salon. It makes you think, it keeps you thinking outside the box to bring the best for your team and your clients and really brings the team together at these sorts of award ceremonies. Amazing! Amazing! So the winner of Salon of the Year 
to is Fusion Hairco. Oh my God, it means the world. It's absolutely amazing. I've been in the industry for over three decades and I've sort of put myself out there for the last few years and this is what can happen. So never give up on your dreams. <laughs> Winners of Salon Stylist of the Year are Norman Bolton yeah! and Rachel McDonald. It's been 16 years I've been in the career and I have always shied away from doing anything that was adventurous or scary in case it was a no. But I decided last year to just start saying yes to everything and I said yes to all the opportunities and this is what it got me so just just say yes just say yes to whatever stupid thing it is because it's it can take you to all sorts of places amazing the best feeling in the world you should enter if you haven't I just want to go and tell my mom so can we wrap this up as super as quickly as possible even though she's there the winner of Salon the year one is Michael Van Clark this is our 36th year in business, you know, our most successful year ever, and we want to keep going and achieve sustainable success year after year. Business Director of the Year is Phil Smith. Every hairdresser loves an award, um, but this one to me is, is the pinnacle in, in, in what I do. I love business, and uh, to be recognised for what I do in the industry um, is, yeah, it's fantastic, amazing, great feeling. Right on.